What I, I try to create is a, a dog that really is breathtaking. They're tall and massive. My boys are some of the most wanted studs on the planet. My name is Joe Thompson and I'm the owner of Three English Mastiffs. Ringo fellas? Yeah. Oh. They're named after the Beatles and Ringo is him and there's Harrison and that's Paul and John will be from a breeding in France out of Harrison if all goes well. My largest boy is Harrison. He is 27 months old and 250 real solid working dog everyday fit pounds. Ringo is 218 pounds. He's the sire of both Paul and Harrison. And Paul is right around 170 pounds. When the dogs are puppies even, they start out life being very big. Uh, Harrison was 30.23 pounds at eight weeks old. They're like little bricks. The fur beetles are, are very high in demand. Um, they've got the attention of breeders worldwide. I have high hopes for them. My stud fee for Harrison is 3,000. For Ringo, it's 2,500, and Paul will be around 3,000. My dad fell ill with cancer, and my wife told me, Joe, you need a, you need a dog. You need a, a pal, and hence how I ended up with Ringo. Um, didn't start out to breed or stud or anything like that. He was just to help me get through issues with my dad. I hand cooked the meals every day according to the type of exercise that we did. I try to feed him twice a day, uh, once in the morning, once in the evening. Half scrambled eggs. My two sons really love their boys. Um, it gives them a lot of, uh, for lack of a better term, bragging rights with friends. A lot of their friends like to come and see them. Um, it's a great icebreaker for them. And they're very active in helping me work these dogs because they have, let's face it, kids have a lot more energy than us older parents. So I use them to my, my advantage as much as I can. Adding real food to their diet really helps and it also gives them something to look forward to and it makes them feel like they're a real part of the family. Just like within people, they're, they're individuals. You know, Ringo's the boxer, Harrison's the wrestler, and he's a basketball player. And they need different nutritional requirements, different types of exercise, and they're built differently. Do some bacon grease. Harry doesn't really need any. Be careful. Get in the car. Get in the car. Come on. Get in the car. Get in there. Come on, Paul. Come on, Harry. What's special about mine is that they get worked every day. Um, they pull weights, they upstream swim, they've treed bears. But on occasion, we will run into bears, bobcats. On my phone one time, several years ago, I happened to get catch on video, Ringo treeing a bear. Um, and I actually called him off of the bear Watch. and he came back to me and sat next to me. It's pretty amazing to see an animal with no fear and putting its life on the line for you at any time. Harrison, please sit. Harry. Come on. No. Harry, sit. Sit. Their temperament is beyond gentlemen. 
And I think that's breed wide for the most part. They, they maintain a very uh, dignified, stoic appearance and demeanor. I go in the woods with my sons as often as I do with my dogs. It's a, it's a part of our life. They look forward to it. Uh, my boys get off the school bus and they're saying, hey, let's take the dogs swimming. And, and in the summer, the fun part is, is they get to swim with them. And that is really, really fun to watch because my boys can hold on to their necks and they'll swim in the water like riding a dolphin, so to speak, only they're riding a mastiff in the water and it's kind of cool. As my dad always said to me, you're safer in the woods than walking down a busy street and nothing could have been more true. In this day and age to find a place where you can't hear a car and you can't hear a train and you can't hear, it's so different. You know, there is a sound to silence. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. You can do it. You're almost there. Good boy. You never bond as well as you do with your dogs or your kids as much as you do when you're out there. And it's just a big part of our lives. It's a highlight of our weekends. Yes, I love them more than you could ever really say in words. Real genuine love that's not conditional in any way. They will love you no matter what, no matter what kind of mood you're in. So really it's a huge part of my life.